In this video, we discuss fibropolycystic liver disease. Fibropolycystic liver disease is a collective term for a group of congenital liver and biliary abnormalities resulting from abnormal development of the ductal plates. Diseases in this group include congenital hepatic fibrosis, biliary hematomas, autosomal dominant polycystic disease, Corolli disease, collodocal cysts. Fibropolycystic liver disease has a variable association with polycystic kidney disease. Secondary cirrhosis is rare. More common complications include portal hypertension, cholangitis and mass effect. The manifestation generally progresses from the peripheral to the central liver. Congenital hepatic fibrosis manifests as periportal fibrosis, biliary dysplasia, and autosomal recessive polycystic kidney disease. Both the hepatic and renal involvement is variable. Ultrasound may show mild hyla bile duct dilatation. Hepatopetal collateral veins without extrahepatic portal vein occlusion is seen in one-third of affected children. There may be hepatic artery widening and regenerative nodules. Autosomal dominant polycystic disease, previously termed adult type polycystic disease, is now recognized in children who are often asymptomatic. The liver is usually enlarged and diffusely involved with heterogeneous cysts. Complications are rare in children, but may include infection and rupture of cysts, bleeding, and mass effect. Secondary portal hypertension is rare. Collodocal malformations overlap with fibropolycystic liver disease, in particular in Corolli syndrome, type 5 collodocal malformation, where there is congenital hepatic fibrosis. In hepatoportal sclerosis ultrasound may show a hyperechoic zone, representing fibrosis, surrounding the portal veins with a hypoechoic zone, separating it from the normal appearing liver. This entity may have an alternative presentation with hepatic nodules. Biliary hematomas are uniform cystic lesions less than 15 mm in diameter with thin rim enhancement. These may be seen on ultrasound and MRI and are sometimes incidental findings. The entity has not been comprehensively described in children. If you like the video, you can like it, comment it, and share it with your friends. If you are not subscribed yet, please subscribe and click the bell button.